So that is the extent of my packing. We don't technically have a home to move to yet, but I feel like we're getting very close now. We sent off a ton of things today and yesterday actually that will edge us closer to the formalities and everything being approved and, and moving forward. So hopefully that happens very soon. However, I can't afford to wait because I'm due to go and work overseas. So I just need to have the glass half full and assume that everything is going ahead as planned and get cracking. So I have a dedicated area in the house which is for everything that we're not taking i've prioritized sorting through those things so that friends have time to come and pick things up i know what volume of belongings needs to go to the charity shop and how many runs that i need to do how much will fit in the car and i've also got time to sell some things i feel like i'm well on with that today has been a life admin day i've been away on an event in london for uh, three three days or so uh, and I'm back now to catch up on well-being appointments which are now my non-negotiables it's something that I've always been guilty of neglecting in the past but then um, because I have another little human to think about it's extra incentive to look after myself so I've been off to acupuncture and acupressure uh, and also chiropractic care today which is why I've had a skin nourishing day the chiropractor has you face down on the cushion and you come out with big panda eyes and eyelashes stick to your forehead and the acupressure guy is kind of like this with you so there is no point. I've done all that. I've uh, done a lot of life admin things, a lot of paperwork, and of course I'm up really early for work. So I think that's it for now. It is moving day for us and I will apologise for the echo but I've shut myself in the bathroom so that I can get a little bit of quiet just to say good morning to you guys and share some excitement because again I haven't slept, I'm beside myself. <laughs> <laughs> this move has been such a long time coming and we were supposed to be over here for a month or two. We came over from London uh, to the northwest of England and we just wanted to replace the smashed windows, kick the rats out. We had industrial waste removal at the property. It was just left in such a bad state. However, we've been here for 19 months, which is a long time with boarded up windows and whatnot. And I always say I don't mind the type of property or the size of property that I live in. I would, I would happily live anywhere. In fact, one of the best places I've ever had is a tiny studio in Miami, but because it had a wall of glazing on the front because it was in a high rise apartment block, it was brilliant um, and I really feel that light is so important so we didn't have that here for a long long time which meant it, it never really felt like home and therefore we never bought any furniture because we always had that we're moving on very soon. It did take us a while to find our next home and project and we found it. It has been a difficult sale. We've sort of bought multiple properties at the same time which we weren't originally expecting to be doing and just due to the complexity of the sale and also the circumstances of the others in, involved in the process. It's just taken a long time. But today, the day has finally come. I've actually flown back early from working overseas to do this move. I've been up for what feels like a day already and I think it's only about eight o'clock. <laughs> But there was lots to do and I think I've only been back in the country for a couple of days and I've had a diary full of appointments that I couldn't change and it's just meant that we've just had to work very long hours to get everything sorted and I think we're finally there. Everything's really well labelled. I feel like I'm organised. I need to hit the ground running on the other side because it's the ranch Christmas and it is very busy, which is brilliant and I'm excited for it. But I'm definitely looking forward to getting this bit moved because it's a lot of energy and I need energy for sparkly Christmassy things happening. And yeah, I'm so excited to put my tree up. Anyway. I'm back to it before they think I'm a lazy bum. <laughs>
close to being ready. It's been a mammoth effort and it's not quite over yet. Final bits and pieces happening. We've got a couple of cases set up so that we have things that we can access immediately as soon as we move. Of course, we've got Christmas onesies and a bikini and some wrapping paper so I can send a present overseas and some other bits and bobs that will be coming with us just so it's separate from all of the removal van bits and pieces and we can get to them quickly when we arrive. coffee run everyone is working so hard they deserve nice coffee um, I've packed all the cups and the coffee so um, I'm just gonna pop to Costa um, also going to check in my lifestyle clients Fridays are normally busy days for lifestyle clients checking in so I'm gonna do that catch up on their progress see how well they've done this week and yeah we shouldn't be too far off leaving fingers crossed Well, it is a new day and I had this fantasy that I would do one of those really cool transitions where I would close the door to the crack den and open it to a warm, light and welcoming, beautiful home. And that's definitely not what happened. It was a very long day and we arrived pretty late. We were also quite a margin behind the removal guys because they left earlier than we did. And they'd obviously had to have all the internal and external doors open. Also, the house hasn't been heated for a little bit of time. So it was a very, very, very cold first night. And it's a heating system. It actually has several heating systems and we're not familiar with the controls. Some are in outbuildings and there's all kinds of add-on things here that um, need a full schematic redesign. But on night one, when we arrived, um, <laughs> it was a little bit too much to work out all in one go. So we ended up sleeping fully clothed with lots of duvets and all the hot water bottles. So that was definitely a challenge for the first night. And also, we didn't expect to arrive to the majority of the light fittings not being here. And we didn't kind of understand how dark it would be. So unpacking with just our phone torches took a little bit of time, but we got there and we are kind of getting straight. However, we do have to wait to unpack. The person who chose the carpets for this place, they chose beautiful wool carpets, but in choosing those beautiful carpets, the moths also like them and the carpet moths have had a bit of a finger buffet. So we just need to check the extent of the moth situation because there's no point in us putting our belongings on carpets if there's still a live problem. So we are getting some advice on that and making sure that we're kind of safe to go ahead with unpacking and things. So you'll see when I add the pictures up that there will be things all piled into one room, which are kind of our belongings that we'll just have to wait. And then we've got another room where we've just bought the majority of our work things just so that we don't lose momentum with work because obviously that's a priority for us, particularly on the run up to Christmas. So there isn't a huge amount to see, but I'll put some pictures up so we have a starting point. And then I think I'll schedule some future videos to go through some ideas for the property and maybe just have a look at how we're getting on with designs for spaces. Initially, I think it'll be the functional stuff that gets done, like putting blinds and curtains up. I wasn't expecting there to be such little window coverings here when we arrived. So 
I think it would definitely help with insulating a little bit if we can get some thermal curtains and things going. So I think that'll happen first. And then we can start having to think about what we'll be hoping to do with the property structurally, mechanically and design wise. And it's an awesome project. And I, I absolutely just can't wait to get going and start to see the change. It is a really lovely opportunity to work with a building that is so beautiful, but kind of bring it into a modern way of living, but still being respectful to its original architecture. And I think not trying to copy history, but being sympathetic, I think it will be quite a fine balance, but I'm definitely up for the challenge. And yeah, hopefully we can do it together. medium-sized bathrooms. Hi. <laughs> Most of the bathrooms look like this actually, so I'll really show you all of them. This gives you the general idea, the starting point for the style of the bathrooms that are in the property at the moment, complete with bug wallpaper. I've actually managed to flood this one already. They've got these sort of sani flu type systems and yeah, I've managed to flood the place. Now this room is really sweet. Look at that wallpaper. This room has had a little bit of water penetration. There's been a historic leak and this corner needs some attention. So that'll probably need the plaster hacking off and replacing with lime plaster. And also we'll be using breathable materials moving forward. I think some of the techniques used to fix up buildings historically we we'll probably choose some different methods these days just because we know more about building technology, don't we? So this room will be lovely when it's all ship shape. It definitely needs to be warmer. But yeah, I'm looking forward to designing this one. It's got a really lovely view outside as well. Lots of trees. This is another bedroom and it's a bit tricky to show you in here actually because it's just sort of piled with beds that we've put on plastic sheeting. It's quite a large bedroom with wide stripe wallpaper. We've just hung some of our old Older kind of decorating cartons in the window just to keep some of the draft out. There is a bit of a walk-in wardrobe in here although we have so many things hanging around it's pretty difficult to make things out but we've just pulled the carpet back in here just to safeguard from the moths a little bit and we've hung kind of some of the things that we don't want sat in boxes just for now until we can rectify the situation and you'll notice the onesies there on the left ready for Christmas. <laughs> This room is phenomenal and I'm sure you'll see much more of this one when it isn't a temporary office. We have a roof light over the landing which is actually leaking so I need to go up on the roof just see if I can do some damage limitation. There is a light bulb there though, it just doesn't work. <laughs> There's a small WC at the end here, and then we have the access onto the next level. But I think we'll leave it here for today. I think I've probably shown you enough, and I'll see you in my next update. 